Okay, here we go with the review that you need to know for adding and subtracting polynomials. Well, let's remember that parentheses group things, and parentheses usually tell us to do that first, but that's only if you can do what's in the parentheses. And so if you've got a situation where 5x minus 6x contains different or non-like terms, you can't actually subtract where you can't actually subtract in the second set of parentheses. So we look and see that there's nothing but addition or subtraction. So in that case, the parentheses can be thrown out. And this is because of the associative property. Now, we would not be able to do this if there was multiplying or dividing. But again, because there's just addition, get rid of the parentheses. And again, this positive times this negative is just going to make a negative. So let's leave it negative 3x. Now, let's combine like terms. So let's use the commutative property. You might be able to see terms that are like without this, but I like putting them next to each other. Now, 5x minus 3x. Only focus on the coefficient, the number in front. 5x minus 3x is 2x. And negative 6 and negative 2 are the same sign, so we add those up. Integer rules are so important. 2x minus 8y is it, because that is a non-like term. It's a different variable for the 2 and for the 8, so they cannot be subtracted. Finishes up as a binomial, because those are two non-like terms. Heading over to the subtraction. Now, again, look inside the parentheses. Is there anything that you can do adding or subtracting wise? No, because they all have a different term. How is that the case? They're all x's x squared, x to the first. x squared, x to the first means they're different exponents, which makes them different terms. Now the subtraction. We would have to think about multiplying. Remember last time where I said we can just drop parentheses because it was all adding or subtracting? Well, in this case, there is multiplication there, so I have to distribute that negative. And that is going to have an impact because a negative times a negative is now positive 3x squared. And a negative times a positive is now negative 7x. And a negative times a negative is now a positive 6. So subtracting actually made all of those signs the opposite. I come on back with this and I rewrite it as the same thing because we only distribute to the right. Now, we can use the commutative property to find like terms, but hey, let's save a step or two, right? So let's just try to see if we can identify like terms without rearranging them. Anytime it has the same variable, same exponent, it's a like. So I can add the 8 and the 3 and make 11. Now we're adding, so the exponent stays the same, okay? Important to realize. Next up, this maybe would be like this. Positive 7x, negative 7x would be, well, 0x, okay? That'll be talked about in just a moment. Lastly, I'm going to circle negative 4. It doesn't have a variable, nor does 6. Now, always go back to integer rules. The signs are different. One's negative, one's positive. So therefore, it is plus 2. I would have to subtract. Now, back to this 0x. Remember that anything times 0 is 0, and x is a number. So that number times 0 would cancel each itself out. So instead of this being three pieces and a trinomial, it's actually two pieces that are non-like and another binomial. Go ahead, answer the quiz questions, and use this as your frame of reference. Good luck.